name is Dr. Rita Scully and I'm a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is on percentages. I will introduce and explain percentages and how to use them. And I will show you how to use percentages in real world examples. What you know. To help you understand percentages, it would help to review some information on fractions and also on decimals. In this video, there will be some key words introduced. Percentages. The whole of something represented in one hundredth parts. Percent or per cent means one per one hundredth. One hundredth, something divided in one hundredth parts. Fractions, a mathematical representation of a portion of something. It is a quantity that is not a whole number. Fractional parts, two parts, the numerator, top element, and the denominator, the bottom element. Decimals. A decimal is a number expressed in the scale of tens. The symbol for percent. So one percent means one over one hundred or one hundredth. Five percent means 5 over 100 or 5 hundredth. Since percentages are the whole of something represented in 100 parts, this means they are fractions. Because fractions represent a portion of something, they can be used in any situation where quantities need to be classified into parts or measured or quantified. In understanding percentages, it helps to imagine the whole broken into 100 parts. Percentages are similar to fractions and decimals. They are another way of writing fractional parts. But they always give the number of parts out of 100. One is shaded out of 100, one over 100, or 1%. 99 are unshaded, 99 over 100, or 99%. So it is important to always know what 100% refers to e each time. Percentages are used as a common standard. Can you think of some uses of percentages? They can be used in many daily applications, including bank interest rates, VAT, value added tax, and discount rates. Some examples. What is 5% of 250 euro. 5 over 100 multiplied by 250. 0 0.05 multiplied by 250 equals 12 euros 50 cent. What is 21% of 130 euro. 21 over 100 multiplied by 130. 0 0.21 multiplied by 130 equals 27 euros and 30 cent. real-world examples. Percentages can be used 
for comparisons. For example, the discount I will get in a sale in comparison to the full original price. A phone costs 185 euros but in the January sale it will be reduced by 15 percent. How much will the phone cost in January? To look at this from a maths point of view the cost of the phone will be 185 euros less the discount of 15 percent. 15% of 185 euros. 15 over 100 multiplied by 185. 0 0.15 multiplied by 185 equals 27 euros 75 cent. So the phone will cost 185 euros minus the discount of 27 euros 75 cent. So in January the phone will cost 157 euro 25 cent. We can also calculate a percentage increase. For example there may be a local effort to get more people to cycle or walk to work or school. Let's say in a town of 110,000 people, 75,000 travel to work or school each day. Currently 12% walk or cycle. It is hoped that this would increase to 20%. So how many people currently walk or cycle? And how many people will this increase to? 12% is 12 over 100 multiplied by 75,000. 0 0.12 multiplied by 75,000 equals 9,000 people currently walk or cycle to work and school. 20% is 20 over 100 multiplied by 75,000. 0 0.2 multiplied by 75,000 equals 15,000 people would begin to work, walk or cycle to work or school. This is an increase of 6,000 people. Knowing this type of information allows for infrastructure and facilities to be planned in advance. What you have learned. Percent or percent means one per hundredth. Since percentages are the whole of something represented in one hundredth parts, this means they are fractions. The symbol for percentages. Percentages are similar to fractions and decimals. They are another way of writing fractional parts. But they always give the number of parts out of 100. Percentage calculations can be used as increases or decreases.